to address the congregation. We're doing very well on time. Sabina, come forward. I'll make a few remarks not amounting to a speech on prayer and reconciliation. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. Samoe Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and Your Excellency, Pastor Dorocas, speakers of both houses, allow me to say all protocols observed. I'm very grateful this morning. I didn't expect to get this chance to speak. <laughs> And so thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the ambush. But I'm grateful that I'm able to say something. First and foremost is to thank Almighty God for giving us a beautiful country. And I want to thank His Excellency, the President. You know, for us who are blue and we are Zimio, uh, last year at a time like this, we will not sit together. And when the election ended, we spoke today about reconciliation some of us chose the path to reconciliation, to consider Kenya first, and we believe that Kenya is bigger than any one of us. And so, Your Excellency, myself and the team uh, from Jubilee, members of parliament, we all went to the mantra, Siyekubali Kushindo, Siyo Mushindani. And I know majority of Kenyans might be there are some who never voted, others voted for Azimio, others voted for Kenya Kwanzaa. Elections will be in the next five years. My appeal to all of us is, like, is that Kenya is greater than all of us, that we should work together to make sure that Kenya works. I have traveled across the globe, and every time I go, I miss coming back home. If Kenya burns, all of us burns. I want to urge the people from my side who some of them chose also not to come for this prayer breakfast. That is, in, it is important that we accept the will of God. It is us who handed over the power, and so it is necessary that we support the government of the day, not for ourselves, but for the betterment of Kenya. And so, on the same tone of reconciliation, I pray to my colleagues in parliament that they also I reconcile with me because the best thing I did was not to run away from them, but just think bigger picture about Kenya. And so, Mr. Speaker, as they plan to remove me as a deputy minority whip, I hope that you'll also look at me with a better eye, and I also <laughs> extend the same branch to my colleagues in Azimio, because there's nothing wrong I've done. The only thing I've done is to think about Kenya first and not myself. And hopefully that Kenya is going to rise. There are many challenges. Your Excellency, what I can promise you is that we will not wait to see Kenya go down, but each one of us will try our best to contribute in the little way we can be able to do to make Kenya better and to make the lives of our people who voted for us better. May God bless you so much and have a lovely day. And let us all hold hands together for the sake of our children. You saw the 10-year-olds here. They are looking at us, especially the leaders, to see where we lead this country. God bless you all. Asante Nisana. Well done, well done, Sabina. Your Excellency, we are in a country where we are blessed to have a president and a debut president with spouses who are distinguished for being prayerful women. Allow me on this prayer day to invite Pastor Doka 